and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, so the sound quality not too bad yesterday, it's just a bit low, so I can fix that, I think. So great um, if the sound's not too bad, but do let me know in the comments if you are hearing bad echoes and stuff. So um, loads still going on on Patreon. We're still getting um, lots of answers every day to our Sudoku hunt. Um, when I say lots, I think we're getting at least a dozen answers a day, which is great. And the comments overwhelmingly positive from people who have got through it. Now, for something slightly simpler on Patreon, there's our monthly uh, puzzle content, which is a Queen Sudoku. And that's a reminder that um, the Queen puzzles have been uploaded to the Chess Sudoku app if you've bought that before or if you're buying it now. So they're all on there. Oh, well, 20 of them are on there. Um, so that's all good stuff. Now, today's puzzle comes from Thomas J. Prestopnik, which for some reason is a name I find very hard to pronounce. Um, but I've noticed that he has his own website that he mentioned called uh, www.tompresto.com. So I think I'll call him Tom Presto. Seems quite a suitable puzzle constructor name to me. Uh, he is an, also an author of uh, books and children's books. So do check out the website if you want. Now, Tom sent us a puzzle um, with a number of gray cells and sums in it. Now I've recast it as an arrow Sudoku, which is a reasonably traditional form in which you add up the numbers along the arrow to get to the number in the circle. That's the rule, basically, to go with normal Sudoku rules. So I'm just going to have a go at it as it is and see how we get on. Uh, do try it on the link below the video. Um, as I say, the rule is that you add up the numbers along each arrow to get to the number in the circle. And let's get cracking. So this three is clearly a great place to start up here. That has to be a two and a one and the one is determining which way around they go. So that's just a write-in. Um, this eight is a bit less helpful than it looks at first, but that first digit could be one, five, or six. It can see two, three, and four, and it can't be seven because that would make this one. So this one can therefore be seven, three, or two. Um, this one's got a one. Okay, that means these are different parity. One is odd and one is even. And look, three, one, and five have already been used up. So we have to use either seven or nine here. So it could be six there and seven there, or eight there and nine there. Actually, I think those are the only two combinations possible. Can't be seven there and eight there because of the eight here. Now this one doesn't have any numbers already on the arrow or in the circle, but actually it's the most powerful one of all because this digit can't be one, two, or three. This one can't be any of one, two, three, or four. So the absolute minimum for both cells are four there, five there, and the maximum here is nine. So that's just all done. Perfect. Now. Um, now look at eights looking straight into this cage. Let's not forget regular Sudoku, uh, straight into this box I mean. So all of those yellow cells are ruled out by the eights as shown. So eight goes there, one goes there, and now five and one are looking straight up at this cell. That's got to be a six and we've done all the corner ones apart from this, which we can finish instantly thanks to the nine in the other corner, seven and six. So we've done all the corner ones, great. Uh, let's do some regular Sudoku now, because we've got a lot of things. I can finish off this box, thanks to the seven in this corner. That's sorted out the six, seven, uh, five, three, yes, yeah, six in column one has to be there. Three and five for the other two cells. These are three, seven, nine in some order. Don't know exactly which order, but threes and nines are a little restricted. Um, well, maybe this isn't the most helpful way to go about this. That is two or four. Seven, six, five, one, three in the column, nine in the box, 
eight in the row. Hmm, okay, that wasn't quite as helpful as I wanted. Now, we've only got one given here, but maybe that can help us. Well, no, let's have a look at this cell. One, nine, five in the row, two, eight in the column, three in the box. This is four, six, or seven, just by Sudoku elimination. Now, if it was four, actually that is possible, two and two, not breaking any Sudoku rules. So that could be two, or it could be four. It can't be five, because there's a five out there, so we can remove seven as a possibility. Um, and what about this one with the three? So this can't be a one, but it could be two, four, or six. The odd numbers are all ruled out from that cell. That means this is five, seven, or nine. Ah, that gives us a two, four, six triple in row four. So now we've got three, seven, and eight to place in the other cells. Is that's got to let this can't be eight anymore. Eight, seven, one, or eight, three, five, seven, three, four. Oh, it's not quite as limiting as I'd hoped. Oh, I thought that was a great spot, but it didn't turn into much. Now this being five could be four, one, seven, if that was three, four, five, two, or, yeah, can't be six, one. Ah, six actually is gone from those two rows. So one of these is a six. Maybe we could use that. If this was a six, three, nine. Hmm, there's quite a lot of possibilities to work through. How about this though? This can't have a one on the arrow. Um, 8, 6, 2, 1, 3. So that sum is 4, 5, 7, or 9. This one... Uh, it's not as limited. I should be finding something a bit more helpful than this, I imagine. Okay, let's do some regular Sudoku. 3 there rules 3 out of all those. So 3 is in one of those two. That puts three in one of those two. Twos, six, six, six is up there somewhere. One of these is seven. One of these is eight. Ooh, one of these is six. Ah, that almost feels helpful, but not quite. Oh, mate, of course. Why don't I think about something more sensible? Where does eight go in the central box? Look, eight is ruled out of all of those cells, and none of these are possible from the sums for that arrow. So eight must be here. Now that's changed things a bit. This can't be four anymore because of the two, four, six triple here. Um, Yeah, is there more we can... Yes, one in this central box. Look, there's a one there ruling out those. One there rules out those. It clearly can't be in a circle because that would be impossible and it can't be there. So this is one. Aha! So this is now four, six, or eight, and it's looking at six and eight. So this is a four. Five there, which is the absolute minimum value. Two there. Suddenly we can unwind all of the things we've put in virtually. We've got a seven, nine pair left on the two arrows at the bottom here. Um, can we get further? This one can't see a one. I know that before. Ah, this cell, two, six, four, one, eight, seven, all ruled out. So it's three or five, can't possibly be a nine on an arrow. Now that means this one is even. Look, that's odd and that's odd. Odd plus what makes odd always even. And this is seeing four, six and eight. So that's a two. It at least fixes that as a four. Um, yes, this can't be three anymore. So that's five and that's seven and that's nine. 
Ah, this is three, just my regular Sudoku because of the five in the box there. So we can finish that as a six, and that three lets us finish off the last arrow, seven, one. Lovely. So we really are on the home straight now, I believe. Um, actually, that is a three there, yes. Seven, nine pair in box four. One, two, eight to fit in there. We can do them all, first of all, by eliminating ones, then twos, and then fill in the last one. Right, nine and eight in the final column. There's already an eight in row seven. Eight must be there in box two, which fixes the three. Two in one of those. This one must be a four. I think it's effectively a naked single because we've put two up there. Yeah, which was because actually we could place two in this box. So this one, as I say, a naked single, it's a four. Eight, three, two, one, five, six. This is a four now. I've got seven and nine and eight and five there. Let's not make a mistake at this stage. Three and two, lovely. Five, six, nine is a triple up there. We can do the seven, four. Still don't know about this seven, nine, but this is the last cell in the column. So that's a nine. That makes this five. Across the top, we've got one, four, and seven to fill in. That's very straightforward. Five and six there. That sorts out the nine, six pair. And we can just finish off now. Lovely. That's a nice puzzle. I mean, it's not, that's not too hard at all. Um, it's a decent arrow puzzle. I have a feeling that Tom's last puzzle, although it wasn't presented as such, turned in turn we we showed as an arrow puzzle again with two cells adding up to another cell in each arrow. So it's becoming a bit of a genre for him. But uh, that's a very neat little puzzle. I hope you enjoyed that. Nice easy one tonight. I think reasonably easy anyway, as long as you spot how to go about starting at the corners and then working on the middle box. In fact, you could have done it better than I did, I imagine. So thanks very much for watching. Um, do catch up with our extra content on Patreon, or um, if you're running out of puzzles to do, there are definitely our apps to buy. Um, and all of the information is in the description field below the video. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.